Welcome to Banalish Speed Reviews, where I review a car in two minutes or less. Let's go. This is the 1953 Ford COE from Matchbox Collectors. This is a brand new model, and as you can see, I do have it open. All these Matchbox Collectors cars come with a little box here that you can indeed put your car into. This is pretty cool. This is actually a casting that I've been waiting for for a while. Ever since I saw the leak from uh, Mattel, I was like, oh my goodness, I've got to have that. Check it out. 53 COE. I don't buy a lot of the Matchbox Collector stuff. And it is simply because even though they're more expensive than the Hot Wheels premiums, they're like, they're not, they're not as great. Sure, they come with a box, and sure, they've got rubber tires, and sometimes they've got moving parts. But, I mean, if we look at this thing and ignore the fact it has rubber tires, it's pretty much mainline quality. I mean, metal body, all the fenders down here, this is all plastic. Decals on the sides, front, back, nothing on the top, and the base is plastic. Like, come on, if you're going to get me to pay like 7 or $8 for a car, at least make the base metal, right? But sometimes there's a car that I just think is too cool to pass up on, and this truck is one of them. So on the side, it says Matchbox Speed Shop. There's the Ford C600 logo on the side there. You can see the decals are pretty cool. And on the back of the truck, it says Matchbox Speed Shop again with some pinstriping. So yeah, Matchbox Premiums are slightly disappointing because they don't have the same quality as what a Hot Wheels Premium does. But come on, that thing looks cool. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and I'll see you.